So in this video, we're going to look at mixtures of gases and how those gases can also obey the ideal gas law. And all of this will um, be governed under Dalton's law of partial pressures. And the way that we will see this in the equation is that each component of that mixture will exert a partial pressure that contributes to the total pressure of the sample. So as an example of what this might look like, if we had some container, try to make it a pretty big container, and in this container we have three different gases, so we'll do these pink dots, and all of the pink dots we'll call gas A, and some green dots. And all of the green dots we'll call gas B. And we'll just do one more for good measure. Let's do some orange. And we'll call those C. So the pressure of gas A, let's also do this in a matching color, pressure of gas A is equal to the number of moles of A times R times T divided by V. So exactly the ideal gas law. And like with the problem that we solved in the uh, previous video, just a little bit of rearranging this time to solve for pressure. So the pressure for gas B is going to be the number of moles of B times RT over V. And I don't need subscripts on RT or V because the entire sample's in the same volume. It's all at the same temperature, and R is just a constant. And the pressure of C is the number of moles of C times RT over V. So what Dalton's law of partial pressures will tell us is that the total pressure is equal to the pressure of A plus the pressure of B plus the pressure of C. So we can take the individual pressures and add them up to be the total pressure. Now for our full sample, if we do just a little bit of algebraic substitution, this means that the total pressure is also equal to the number of moles of A times RT over V, <clears throat> because this was how we calculated the pressure of A plus the number of moles of B times RT over V, plus number of moles of C times RT over V. And that RT over V factor is the same. So we could factor that out and also write the total pressure being equal to NA plus NB plus NC times RT over V. And another way to say that is that this is equal to N total RT over V. So we have a number of ways to calculate the total pressure of a sample if we know the number of moles of components in the sample. And we can also use these relationships to figure out something called the mole fraction. And we've used this in some previous videos, but this is one of the ways to describe a concentration. So we could say the mole fraction of gas A is equal to the number of moles of A over the total number of moles. So it's kind of like what percentage of the sample is gas A in this total sample, except it's going to come out as a fraction. Um, so this is a lot like when we were dealing with percent abundances for isotopes. The numbers are going to work together in a similar fashion. 
Now, because of how things are related through the ideal gas law and Dalton's law of partial pressures, this means that another way that we could calculate the mole fraction of A is to take the partial pressure of A and divide it by the total pressure of the sample. And we can find the partial pressure of A if we know the mole fraction of A and the total pressure of the sample.